DreamWorks have gone through a lot of ups and downs over the years, haven't they? Sometimes they're at the top of the world. Other times, they've released Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. Now, just because they've made a lot of misses, that doesn't mean they haven't made some amazing films that have stood the test of time and become some of the best animated films in recent memory. God, is this now one of those films? Trolls is the 2016 seizure guy directed by Mike Mitchell, who also directed I was in the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked, which probably gives you a good idea of how this film turned out. Unlike the second and third Trolls films, which aren't good, but they have more to offer. This... Uh, it's going to be tough. It's 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 going to be very very tough. <sighs> Let's talk about the plot. There even is one. Trolls is about Poppy, a troll who lives with her father away from these creatures called the Bergens, who love to eat trolls. It's the only thing that gives them happiness, so they think. However, a few years ago, the trolls escaped the Bergens. But due to Poppy being too loud with her party, the chef, the ch the chef, the ch words, the chef Bergen, who was banished years, years ago, hears this and captures most of the trolls. So Poppy teams up with a cynical troll named Branch, voiced by Justin Timberlake. I mentioned that because he's one of the only good things about this movie. Sorry, plot. Uh, in order to go to the Bergens and save their friends. You know, when a crap, when a 2016 jukebox musical about singing trolls does better than a Don Bluth movie about trolls, they also sing. It's not a very good sign, is it? Actually, no, it's a very good sign. It's a lot better than a troll in Central Park. Jesus Christ, that film. Anyways, so, my opinions. It sucks, what a shocker, I know, right? Crazy. You know what I hate? Take your pick. People who say... That you can't criticize kids' movies because they're for kids. Good choice. Just because a movie is for a younger demographic doesn't mean I can't critique it. Christ, look at this series. Most of the reviews I've done since 2021, since I began this series, have been animated movies for kids. That's because they have stuff in them to pick, to pick apart and talk about, be it positive or negative. Hell, most of my 10 out of 10 movies are animated. And most of my least favorite movies, some of which I've talked about in this series, are also animated. So I'm allowed to say that this movie sucks, and you shouldn't watch it unless you are under the age of 7. Except if you're doing a review on it, in which case you can watch it. And you're also criminally insane and need to be put as far away from humanity as possible. The mental sign is on my way to get me now. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, now surprisingly, there are a few positives. I know, crazy, right? A Dreamers movie having positive stuff? When has that ever happened? The animation is great and really creative. I can't really show it because copyright, again, me being under, uh, not having a, a lot of subscribers, I can't really show a lot because apparently fair use doesn't apply to YouTubers that have under a thousand subscribers. So that's nice. Uh, cheers, YouTube. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so like I said, the animation is really great and really creative. Not as much as the sequels, but still very good. It feels like looking in an art book, which the second and third film have more of that effect, especially with the third film. I've seen the trailer. The animation is very wild. Of course, I'm a bit, I'm a bit late to that party because the third film has been released since November. And I also did better at Wish in the, than Wish in the box office. So, yeah, that's a, that's a very good sign. The voice acting has a lot of energy, as well as the singing. Some of the humor in this movie... Keyword here is some is actually really funny, but to be fair, most of the good humor comes from the only character I actually like, Branch, voiced by Justin Timberlake. I would show him in like the post, and the only thing I can show, which is the poster, but because it's a, a 2016 movie, it has to be very oversimplified and very gimmicky, which is why I don't only show a troll and tons of swirly colors. Because what's it, when was this film released? November. Okay, so it can be considered released for Pride Month which is the month that we're currently in right now, June. So, 
Yeah, November 4th, colors. We let's, uh, watch our movies, guys. We have colors. Whoa, 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 whoa. And of course, generally positive reviews. Are you kidding me? Anyways, so yeah. Uh, Justin Timberlake is a very good actor. He's proven himself to be a really good actor. Uh, especially performances in movies like The Social Network and surprisingly Yogi Bear. His boo boo impression is weirdly spot on. A lot better than Dan Aykroyd, you know, the actual actor. But to be fair, Justin Timberlake is also a good actor. I mean, he's he was in The Social Network and he's amazing in that film. Not as good as, uh, Eisenberg or Gar or Andrew Garf Jesse Eisenberg or Andrew Garfield, but you know he's also great. So it's not surprising that this performance is really good, and he's the only character I liked and laughed at, despite his backstory being, ironically, hilarious. I said I said this movie sucked, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's time to talk about the craft the crap stuff now. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm perfectly normal. Uh, where was I? Let me just look at the script here. Ah, yes. Every other character in this movie is either really annoying or... No, 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 that's it. That was just, that was just annoying. Uh, yeah. I hate everyone in this movie except for Branch, as said before. Poppy is horribly unlikable. I think she's becoming the female Oscar, which is definitely solidified in the second film, which I have seen and I hate. I actually think it's worse than this, despite having better animation on... And despite it being one of the most important films in cinematic history, I'm not explaining that, look it up, is, uh, it doesn't change the fact that the second film is a lot worse than this. Give it a 4 out of 10. Oops, spoilers! <laughs> but I haven't told you what score I've given this yet. Have I? I haven't. James Corden is in this movie too. Isn't that great? He's not as bad here as he is in other movies like Peter Rabbit, The Emoji Movie, or Cats. He's serviceable, but I can't say the same for Russell Brand, who's the villain in this movie. You know, that's actually really good casting because he voiced the bunny protagonist in Hop, who was basically a villain that the film refused to call out. Here, he's not only the villain, but he's also the twist villain in this movie. Everyone was doing the twist villain thing in the 2020s. Why don't we try it? DreamWorks said. Answer. They did, and it sucked. This has got to be one of the worst twist villains I've ever seen in a feature film. At least Hans and that stupid sheep from Zootopia had good motivations that made sense, even if they were revealed at the last 10-15 to 15 minutes of the movie. They were well written, even though they were also stupid. With this guy, you never get the sense that he doesn't like Poppy or the other trolls. He just gives away their location and plan because he wanted to save himself, which is sprung to us in the last second. He doesn't even do anything evil after the big reveal. He just exists while the ending of the movie happens where they all just sing. Well, so let's just sing. Let's not have an ending. Let's just sing for 20 minutes, sing crappy songs. Well, hold on. Was, wasn't the song? Yeah, it received an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song for Can't Stop the Feeling. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm fine with that because you know, animated films barely get any nominations anymore, especially the previous two years of the Oscars where the only animated films have been nominated in just one category, their designated animated category, and then since and then they haven't nominated them since, like, 2023 or something, which is really stupid and awful, and I hate them for that. Wait, what was I about the music? Oh, don't even get me started on the f***ing music. They have all the characters and crappy covers of already existing songs all throughout the movie, and it gets annoying by song two. How do people criticize the Sing movies for having an overload of unneeded pop songs? At least it makes sense in the context of the movie. And it's realistic that people who audition sing already existing songs. That's the point of a singing competition. So when these characters sing for no other reason other than just other than that. This movie this movie's so bad it's affecting how I speak. So when these characters sing for no reason other than to sell a crappy album you just have 90 minutes of annoying songs being drilled into your head like you're in a snuff film. The fact that the singers are talented doesn't make a difference and the lyrics are they're singing are so bland, forgettable, and annoying. Was I talking about the characters? Gee, I guess, gee, I, guess I was. I love how when Branch is talking about how singing killed his grandma, which is still the funniest thing in the movie, by the way, the characters are still 
f***ing singing. Why? Why? You're really going to ask why in this movie? Really? Really? It's to fill up the album to make a lot of money. I'm sure this movie didn't make a lot of money. I mean, I'm just, it's, it's a stupid movie. Oh, of course it made $347 million. <laughs> I guess that's why we got two crappy sequels with the second film somehow being worse than this travesty. Go yourself. Whoa. Jesus, what the hell? I didn't expect to, to get that angry out of a movie about singing trolls. <laughs> Jesus. See, that's what a bad movie can do to you. Really. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's really, really, really bad. Like, <sighs> God, Jesus. I really want ape crap there. I guess you can show it to kids and it'll be fine, but there are much better movies than this to show children, like, up, leave them a stitch. Or Watership Down. Especially Watership Down. 4.5 out of 10. This movie can go F itself. I'm pretty god there isn't a Trolls 4. <laughs> Be awful. Gee. I really hope the next episode would be a much better movie than this. Say, what's the next episode about? Oh god. Not that. Anything but that! <laughs>